be giving his presentation, A Self-Actualized Society and Young Adult Fantasy. Aaron is a LPC student from South Korea, currently attending Dwight School, Seoul. He dreams of becoming a New York Times best-selling author and an ethics professor who inspires others to reach their full potential. Aaron's dedication is evident in his commitment to writing a 300-page book over four years, a project he recently set aside to embark on a new creative endeavor. So, everyone give a round of applause for Aaron. Since only you can 
do what you want to do in the way that you are doing it, I'll wait too many years in one sentence, that in itself is moral because nobody else can do what you do to contribute to society in that way. So by all of it, you have to, you are already doing the most moral thing that you can possibly do. So now, how do you introduce that to society? So why none of both ends? Well, usually when people think YA, which is like a genre made of like teens and young adults, people think no plot for only teenagers, no value of literature, sense of fantasy, Twilight. Twilight, anyway. So, so we, we have this kind of a kind of negative perception, and I don't think it needs to be like that. Because the thing is, stories about emotions, stories of design that put the mind and the body in a way of life to record with the main way of nature victims. Just as Carol says, if you're a journey as a person's life journey of self-discovery, literature is a way to lead people towards that journey. And I think that, you know, when you if, if you have a way younger sibling, if you try to tell them to do something, you usually they don't do it. But if you tell them, oh my gosh, you're so cool and amazing, can you please, you know, do this for me, they usually comply. And I think that's the persuasion part. Right? The more indirect persuasion, the more convincing it actually becomes. Emotions come from liking a lot of ways in persuasion. And I think that can be applied to literature. Because young adult fantasy is accessible, it's easy to read, it's fun, unpretentious, and it allows for escapism. It has emotional depth with a deep personal exploration, and most of all, it's escapist with traditional themes and a feeling of wonder. So by using the world fantasy with strong themes of self-discovery, I believe that it is the best way to introduce this complex model of self-actualization indirectly to people. So instead of going, do all of you should self-actualize, we're making you guys read stuff, enjoy yourself, and in that process, find for yourself the answer, being self-actualization, to live an innately moral life. That's a book I recommend everyone to read because I think that's a book that, just, that does just that. And that's the end of my little talk. Thank you so much.